Is it a fly? Is it a locust? Is it Mothra? If you guessed any of those answers, you're wrong. This unique little bugger is a cicada. And though you might not be familiar with how they look, you're probably familiar with how they sound. Their hypnotic thrumming, which is the male's mating call, is heard all over the world. It can get as loud as 100 decibels. That's like standing one meter from a chainsaw. But the cicada soundtrack of the eastern United States is about to go from a thrum to a roar. That's because Brood X is coming. And no, that's not the next Marvel movie. The greatest number of cicadas to emerge in the U.S. Should we be worried? Are they dangerous? Keep watching and find out. Cicadas have a bad rap because they are often confused with locusts. That's because the European settlers who first experienced the cicada emergences mistook them for locusts. And locusts, a species of grasshopper, are hated for their plague-like swarms that travel long distances. Their habit of destroying crops and causing famine didn't exactly help their reputation either. But cicadas, which are more closely related to crickets than grasshoppers, don't swarm. They don't even fly that well. What's more, they only travel about 90 meters, and plant tissue isn't their snack of choice. So don't worry, your geraniums will be just fine. Now that we've got that cleared up, let's talk about Brood X. The life cycle of a periodical cicada is either 13 or 17 years, making them one of the longest living insects. Why 13 or 17? Well, nobody knows. But we do know that 99.5% of these cicadas spend their lives underground, feeding on juices secreted by the roots of deciduous trees. And during the spring of their 13th or 17th year, they emerge above ground for a few weeks to mate, lay eggs in the branches of trees, and die. When the eggs hatch, the cicadas fall to the ground and burrow into the soil to feed, restarting the entire cycle. Brood X consists of billions of 17-year-old cicadas. So, things are about to get rowdy. Just to put this in perspective, in 2004, the year these teens hunkered down in the soil, Facebook had just launched and Twitter didn't even exist yet. Now, Brood X is expected to emerge in 16 U.S. states. And there will be up to 1.5 million of them per 0.4 hectares. Yikes! Many Brood X cicadas have begun emerging, according to reports from as far south as Tennessee and as far north as Michigan. But despite their staggering numbers, they'll likely all be dead by the U.S. Labor Day in September. Soon, there'll be enough cicada carcasses to fill wheelbarrows. You know, for a fun Labor Day family game. While most people will dispose of the cicadas, some people will compost the insects and a rare few will clean and eat these pests. Yup, that's right, eat them. Some foodies have called them the shrimp of the dirt because of their supposed seafood-like flavor. Cicada gumbo, anyone? So while these crazy creatures will be taking over the eastern US for a few months, you don't have to worry about them destroying your garden. But you may want to invest in some earplugs. Loud mating calls and living underground for up to 17 years is what cicadas do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.